coming at you today with another hair transformation video. I've had my current dreads, my woolies, for four or four and a half weeks now. And I have some regrowth and they're starting to look shaggy. And honestly, I'm not really in the mood for dreads anymore. So I'm going to transform. So what I'm going to be doing is taking them out, reshaving my undercut. And I've been starting to grow some of the hair in the back back. <laughs> so I'm going to trim that a little bit, kind of make it more pointy. Then I'm going to be doing some cutting and I'm going to bleach my hair and I'm going to put some red in there. So the reason I'm doing kind of a drastic change this time is because, as you guys know, I sometimes want to look more cutesy and sometimes I want to look more badass and the dreads automatically for me means cutesy because I do like the pigtails and stuff like that. And that's what I've kind of been in the mood for this summer, but now that fall is here, I want to go back to doing more like punky stuff, more death rock. Yeah, just more sort of darker, less cute stuff. And I do always feel most comfortable in short hair, so I'm just going to go back to that. But first we're going to do the most annoying part of this entire video, and that is taking all of these fuckers out. Next step now is to trim the undercut. So I'm gonna go over all my undercut with this one, except for in the back here, where I'm gonna trim it like down into a point, because I am gonna grow that out over time. And I go for the lowest or shortest, shortest length you can, so I don't use any of the like attachments. So the next logical step now would probably be to wash my hair, like comb the dreads, the dread ends um, out. But since I'm gonna bleach it and add color or dye to it, it's gonna take a lot of time and my, it's gonna get washed more than it needs. So I'm gonna just put bleach in it straight away. And the cool thing about bleaching black hair is that since I do have outgrowth, the outgrowth is gonna go completely blonde and then the darkest, like blackest parts are gonna go like dark brown and then I'm gonna add the red to that. So we're gonna have different shades of red and hopefully some kind of cool ombre effect. And I do plan on cutting my hair a little bit as well. So, But I'm gonna do that like after I've done all the dyeing and stuff because it's just easier that way. For the bleach and for the dye, I'm using a product by Direction, which is a product that's not tested on animals, which is awesome. And then the Direction's Pillar Box Red is the one that I'm using today. And I'm also going to be using some of these brushes and a comb. And I'm not going to put any color at all on my shaved side. The idea is for that to kind of grow out a little bit darker than the brightest of the red. So since I only have a little hair and it's really short, I'm not going to be using the whole pack. So I'm going to take like a third, yeah, probably a third of this. If you have a lot of hair, then you'll need to use the whole pack. So it comes with a shampoo, a bleaching powder, and cream peroxide. And I'm not going to bleach my hair a bunch of times because I'm not aiming for that super bright light red. I will get that from the outgrowth but I'm aiming to get darker red tones as well. All right, it's blended, it's creamy. Let's start bleaching. All right, I'm gonna leave this in for 45 minutes up to an hour, depending on like how it looks, how it turns out, and then come back and see if I need to add some more or if I'm happy with the way that it is. After washing it, I just towel dry the hair 
as much as I can and this is what it looks like in the back right now as you can see and then just comb through it because it's really tangly after all of those dreads and then once it's combed through I'm taking a lot of it off so just cutting like half of the length off basically and then it's time for the red dye and I just use one of these brushes to go over the entire hair and it just makes it really easy to keep that straight line for the undercut itself. I did get some on my forehead but you know, shit happens. And then at the very end I just use my fingers to make sure everything gets all up in there and as close to the scalp as possible. And then I'll leave that in for about half an hour and then rinse that and then it's time to style my hair and then I am done. Thank you guys for watching, hope you enjoyed this, and I shall see you in my next video. Bye!